thanks for visiting my channel. Today we're going to be cooking up a hearty, delicious soup. Um, we're in the middle of yucky winter and we've had a lot of snow here in central Ohio, so I'm hungry for something comforting and hearty. So we're gonna be making cheeseburger soup today. And I've been started by browning about a half a pound of ground beef. Now you can use up to a pound of ground beef. That's entirely up to you. Um, but my, my ground beef is pretty well browned. And once I get to that point, then I start adding my veggies. Um, so we're gonna add about three quarters of a cup each of onion, celery, and shredded carrots. So just gonna go ahead and add those to the pot. We're going to saute them up until they're nice and tender. Um, at this point, I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of butter. We're going to add a couple of dashes of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Add a little depth of flavor. So good in cheeseburger soup. And then we're going to add some salt, about a teaspoon of salt and freshly ground black pepper. And then we're gonna give that a stir and just let that saute until the veggies are nice and tender and your ground beef is fully cooked through. So it's gonna take about 15 or 20 minutes and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you the next step. Okay guys, we're back. My veggies have been sauteing for about 10 minutes. I cut mine, chopped mine fairly small so they are starting to soften. So we're ready to move on to the next step. And you've heard me talk about this a million times, but we're gonna use some chicken stock. And of course, it's my homemade chicken stock. If you are not making homemade chicken stock, you are so missing out. Check out my video on making it. It is not hard, it's economical, and it's so delicious and way better than anything you can buy in the grocery store. So we're gonna add about four cups of chicken stock. And we're also going to add three to four cups of chopped, um, peeled and diced potatoes. You want them about bite size. And I did that while my veggies were sauteing. So we're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. And then we're going to add a few more seasonings. We are going to add some dried basil. You want about a teaspoon. And then we're also gonna add some dried parsley, also about a teaspoon of that. And then we're going to give everything a nice stir. And then I'm gonna put my lid on and I'm going to let everything simmer for about 20 minutes. You just want your potatoes nice and tender. At this point, everything's really cooked except the potatoes. So um, we just want to get our potatoes nice and tender. And then um, when we come back, I'm going to show you how to make it nice and creamy. And we're going to add some delicious cheese. And it's just a great soup for a cold winter day. So I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, our potatoes simmered for about, well, our soup simmered for about 20 minutes. Our potatoes are nice and soft, and now we're ready to make everything nice and creamy and cheesy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to give our soup some body. And um, the way I'm gonna do that is I've made a cornstarch slurry. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's just cornstarch dissolved in cold water. You have to make sure your water's cold. I used approximately, to be honest, I don't measure measure. I know it's bad, but um, I used approximately four tablespoons of cornstarch and a few tablespoons of cold water. So you just wanted enough water that you can dissolve your cornstarch in. We're gonna go ahead and add that to our simmering soup and give it a stir. And you'll notice that as it um, comes back up to a simmer, it's gonna be a lot thicker for you. Let that simmer for just a second. And then, um, if you watched my mashed potato video around Thanksgiving, you heard me sing the praises of um, evaporated milk. I use evaporated milk for a lot of dishes that I want to be really decadent and creamy. Delicious in mashed potatoes, if you didn't give that a try. But it's also the secret to really creamy, 
um, hearty soup. So I use this a lot in any cream soup I make. So we're gonna use a whole can of evaporated milk. Now, if you don't want to use evaporated milk, you don't have to. You can use cream, you can use half and half, you can use any kind of milk that you choose. But trust me, this stuff is fantastic for creamy soups. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our soup cheesy. And um, I know a lot of people don't like Velveeta, but there's just nothing that melts like it and as creamy as it is. So um, I'm going to use about eight ounces of Velveeta that I've cut into chunks. If you do not care for Velveeta, feel free to use any kind of melty cheese you like. Um, you can, uh, there's all kinds of cheddar cheeses out there. There's white cheddar and sharp cheddar and mild cheddar. Um, so you just want to use some sort of cheddar cheese, preferably. Um, could probably use um, Monterey Jack, or you could use some smoked Gouda would be good. Gouda has a nice creamy um, texture to it, so it would be good in here as well. But I'm going to use straight up Velveeta. So we're going to put that in. And I don't, at this point, once you add your cream or your milk, you don't want to bring it to a boil um, because then it can curdle and get yucky and no one wants that. We want a nice silky creamy soup. So we're going to um, just let it heat through until your cheese is nice and melted and everything is heated all the way through. Then I'm going to taste it for seasoning to make sure that I'm good on salt and pepper and then we're going to plate it up. So I'll bring you back when we're ready to get things plated. Okay, you guys, we are all done. Look how great that looks. Hopefully you can, hopefully my camera is capturing the moment. So good. It's, see how it's rich and creamy and cheesy. Chunks of potato, the beautiful flecks of carrot and your um, spices in there. So, so good. Perfect for a cold winter's day. And I love serving mine with a side of crusty French bread and a nice dill pickle. So good together. Um, and like I said, great for a cold wintry day to warm everything up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber so you don't miss out on any of the fun. And I hope you'll join me next time for another recipe or some other fun thing that I might come up with. See you next time.